In question 7 it says find all the factors of 16, find all the factors of 18 and find all the factors of 20. Factors you know are the numbers that are multiplied together to get a product. Now we have the products, we have 16, 18 and 20 and we have to find what numbers multiplied together give us these numbers. Let's start with 16, I will start writing from here. We know that 1 times 16 is equal to 16. And also we know that 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Also we know that 4 times 4 is equal to 16. If we list them, we can write, let me not list here because we may not have the space. 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. These are the factors of 16. Let's now work on 18. 1 times 18 is equal to 18. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. These are all the factors of 18. We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, 6, 9 and 18. These are the factors of 18. Let me list the factors of 20 here. 1 times 20 is equal to 20. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. If we now list them, we have 1, we have 2, we have 4, we have 5, 10 and 20. These are the factors of 20. Now it says, what do you notice about the number of factors of 16 compared to the number of factors of 18 and 20? Why does it happen? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 factors for 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 factors for 18 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have 6 factors for 20. The first difference here is that 16 has 5 factors which is an odd number and 18 and 20 has 6 factors which are even. And the reason why the number of factors of 16 is an odd number is being a square number. 16 is a square number, that's why it's having an odd factor. Why odd factor? Because we have two fours multiplied together. Well, this question is also answered. 